It is 90.3 KEXP, and we stream all over the world at KEXP.org. My name's Troy Nelson, and I am very excited because we have the band Ballet School live here in the KEXP live room. And Ballet School, if you are ready, take it away.
That is Ballet School live here on 90.3 KEXP and beautiful sounds, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking time to do this. No problem. Uh, and uh, I couldn't take my eyes off the drummer. He's amazing. What's your name back there? Uh, my name's Louis. L- Louis. Hey, how's it going? You have more equipment than any other drummer in the world. What is going on back there? More and less, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm being the bass player and the drummer at the same time, you know. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> Got incredible. Got to compromise here. <laughs> man, you are really a talent, man. That is uh, really fun, fun to watch. And uh, the album's called The Do Last an Hour. Those two songs right there, the song you just heard is called Ghost, and the song before that, Heartbeat Overdrive. In fact, all the songs you're going to play for us today are coming from this record, The Do Last an Hour. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. And can we introduce the rest of the band, please? Yeah, I'm Rosie. I'm on vocals. And then on guitar? On guitar is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, y'all. Nice to meet you guys. And uh, where do you reside? You guys are all from different pl- places, different parts of the globe, but where do you all live? Um, we're in Berlin. We're based. Yeah, yeah. We've, we're all, we all love Berlin. We live there. It's wicked. So you're all <laughs> in... How long have you all been in Berlin? Different times. Different like times. I've been there 10 years. Like I've been there ages. I love oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. And there's an amazing music scene in Berlin. I've seen uh, many documentaries, YouTube videos. Uh, are you guys fans of Ellen Alien? I think of her when I think of Berlin. Hello, Vice yeah, Mix. for sure. <laughs> A good ma- mate of mine, Thomas Miller, is on her label, like B-Pitch Control. Oh, B-Pitch Control. Yeah. And what an amazing label. And, and yeah. I don't know. I just kind of view her as like the queen of, you know, Berlin electronic music. Would that be uh, appropriate? Yes. Yeah, her and Maya Nidam. You've got to represent Maya. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. <laughs> anyway. Awesome. Uh, you have a, uh, like I said before, you have a beautiful sound. And is this, uh, do you agree with this? It says here in my notes that uh, this band was formed out of a deep love of uh, The Cure, The Cocktoo Twins, and Early Madonna. Yeah. That's interesting. Because I can hear, uh, I definitely can hear a bit of The Cure, The Cocktoo Twins. You guys definitely have your own uh, sound and slant on that. But uh, the early Madonna, it's interesting. I, I, I don't hear that, but I, lo- I love Madonna. I have a theory that everyone is influenced by Madonna. That, might, <laughs> that actually might be true. I've never thought about that, that everyone is influenced by Madonna in yeah. some way, shape, or form. Yeah. I guarantee you she's changed my life in some way that I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, I think. Well, I'm a, I'm a like big Madonna stan, so uh, pretty much like uh, my entire life has been in some way I've been listening to Madonna my whole life, and right. I really think that um, I really admire her uh, career ambition and like her uh, just how far she's managed to take herself in right life. and reinvent herself almost record to record. Well, I, you know, musically, like, not just, like, visually, but I think she's, like, written some really incredible pop songs yeah. in her massive 35-year career. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> am, I, am I in the minority where I believe... I actually love Ray of Light. That's, like, my favorite record. I've, the song Frozen, I could listen to that every day. Yeah, Ray of Light is, like, totally making, like, a little, like, comeback as the favorite Madonna album. I'm, uh, I'm like, For Life, Like a Prayer is my favorite Madonna album. That's, my, that's one of my favorite songs of all time, Like a Prayer. Yeah. That is yeah. incredible. And the video, what the video is insane. Video. It's insane. <laughs> I thought it was insane when I was younger. Like, I, it's the choir still comes out. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's just such a weird vi- crying statues. And did she make love to a statue that came to life or something? I don't know what's going on in that video. All I know is that it, it sort of warped my small <laughs> little mind in a good way. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> which is what good, you know, I guess pop does. Or I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> I do love Madonna though. So I was very happy to see that that was a that was an influence. And uh, Rosie, you have a beautiful voice, and you do interesting and very cool things with it. And I haven't seen anything quite like it in a long time. So I really appreciate your guys' sound. Thanks. And if you would be so kind. Well, you're playing tonight, by the way. Uh, and I'm telling our listeners right now, please go out and see them. This is a fantastic band. They're going to be at Barboza tonight. That is yeah. correct. And uh, I'm really glad local artist Faye Moth is opening up because she's uh, wonderful. And Navi. Is it Navi? Is that pr- how it's yeah, pronounced, yeah. I believe? This is going to be a great so. show. 8 o'clock p.m., go out and see Ballet School. And then you guys are going to be tomorrow night in Portland at Mississippi Studios. Have you guys oh uh, Have you guys been to Portland? Oh, you have no idea, right? We are, like, so excited to be in the Pacific Northwest because, like, you know, we like a lot of bands, but obviously, like, Portland is um Seattle are like huge music scenes mm-hmm. and like, like epicenters of independent music which mm-hmm. is like you know uh, my entire ha- life I've uh, wanted like to visit the City of Roses man yeah. City of Roses we're going to hang out with Moonjo like good friend of our manager yeah. actually like producer and manager Jonas Favainian from Kaiko Studios he also produces like the last three albums from Moonjo I love so Moon we're Duo. so lucky to go I'm down and uh, hang out with them. That's amazing. I'm a yeah. huge Moon Duo fan, so that's really cool yeah, that you guys. Super cool. Yeah. Me too. I'm like a huge fan. I'm, I'm always a bit it's nervous. They were they it. were just here not too long ago, uh, and they were they were wonderful as well. Yeah, yeah you're gonna love in Mississippi yeah. Studios. You guys are gonna love it. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, it's great. Crazy. And tonight's gonna be awesome too. Go out and see Ballet School at Barboza. And if you guys would be so kind, I know our listeners would love to hear a couple more songs. Definitely. All right, it's Ballet School live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle.
You're listening to Ballet School live on KEXP.